You're gonna be all right. I promise. We're gonna go home, and you're gonna be nice and safe. And it's gonna be like none of this ever happened. You'll see. I love you. I just don't want you to be scared, okay? And if you're not scared, I won't be either. I'll be right back, all right? Hello. Hello, uh, um, is Mr. Ryan there, please? Oh, uh, well, he's out right now. Jill? Yeah, Robert? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Hi. Yeah, hi, how's Edmund? Well, he, he's still here in the hospital. They have him in oxygen tent. Uh, he seems to be getting better, but it's yeah. taking so long. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think the worst of it is over now. It's just... Honey, look, Edmund's gonna be just fine. I mean, he's a big, strong kid. If he's anything like his parents, he'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. Look, uh, Frank, he's got a luncheon and a couple of afternoon meetings. He should be back any moment. You want me to have him call you? Well, uh, I'm at the hospital right now. I've now I've got to get home and get some sleep, but I want to stay here a little while longer, and then I'll head on home. But uh, I do want to talk to Frank. Uh -huh. Look, w will you tell him to call me if he doesn't get back too late? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Is that Frank? Uh, uh, no, no. Jill, uh, Ray just walked in. Honey, now look, now don't worry. I mean, I know that's a ridiculous thing to say, but Edmund's gonna be just fine. We're thinking about you all the time. I know you are. Frank, too, you know that, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> I mean, I'm still rooting for you two guys. Frank's gonna be home soon. You know that he loves you. You guys are gonna get together, and you're gonna stay together. Now, you remember that. You still believe in happy endings, huh? Yeah. Uh, okay, Robert. Um, listen, I wanna get back to the baby. You take care of yourself. Yeah. Okay, listen, I'll have Frank call you, all right? Right, bye-bye. Bye, honey. Hmm. That is one heck of a kid. Mm, yes, she is. Mm -hmm. How's the baby? Well, he's better. He's still in the hospital, though. I gather you approve of Miss Coleridge. Well, I don't know what you mean, Ray, but yeah. Yeah, I like Jill. I like her a lot. But you don't like me very much, do you? I don't understand. Sure you do. Simple question. Do you like me? I think you're doing a hell of a job for Frank. Come on, Bob. You're dodging. I don't see where it really matters, Ray. It does to me. Why? Because I like you. Because of what you mean to Frank. Alicia told you about our relationship, didn't she? Yeah. I thought she had. Ray, look, she was upset. She needed to figure things you out. You don't have to defend her to me, Bob. I understand. Is she all right? She's doing just fine. Where is she? She left the city. I am sorry, Bob. She's working in a hospital out on Long Island. <clears throat> She's got a small apartment. Angel's got a school not far oh, away. I know, but she should be doing so much better. When I think of that... Ray, she's it. doing just fine. Are you still seeing her? No. <clears throat> she wants to spend some time by herself. And you blame me for that. Ray, I don't know what you want me to say. I don't blame you for anything, if that's what you're asking. What's going on up here between you and Frank, that's your business. 
I mean, okay, I have problems with it, you Look, know. I would like to explain a you few don't things have to, to explain you, but anything. I want to. I care about Frank. We work well together. We like each other. What has happened has grown out of that. Nothing more. Well, he's lonely. He misses Jill. I can understand that. And maybe I'm a little lonely, too. And we are attracted to each other, but that's all it is. I don't expect anything more. I am not asking for anything more than just today. Mm -hmm. So what happens after November? I don't really know. Frank wins the election, and after that, it's up to him. He can pack up Miss Coleridge and their baby and little John and set up housekeeping in Washington and live happily ever after. But you really don't think that's going to happen, do you, Ray? Do you? Yes. Why? Because he loves her, because they have a child, because he has a past. They have a past. A past. And a future. I wonder if you were so kindly disposed toward Ms. Coleridge when Frank was still married to your sister? Okay, Ray, you want to talk? Let's talk. Now, you walked into our life. All you see is what's going on right now. Now, Frank and Jill and I, we go back a long ways. I mean, a lot's happened. But they loved each other, and they still do, and they'll always have that. Frank doesn't run out on his obligations, and he doesn't forget where he comes from. And I am not asking him to. Will you give me some credit? Bob, I know who Frank Ryan is, and he and I are not all that different. Our backgrounds, what we want, we have both worked damn hard for what we've got. I didn't always have all of this. No, you know. no, but you do now. I mean, maybe you were like Frank once, but, but not, not anymore. Wherever you came from, that's not where you are now. Well, he's moving up too, Bob. No, he isn't. Not like you mean. At least I hope not. What are you trying to say? Don't you like the way I'm handling his campaign? Now, Ray, you're doing a terrific job. You're going to get Frank elected to the Senate. That's what he wants. But? But you're taking advantage of the situation. Strange. I never thought of you as the type who was judgmental. <laughs> Lady, I, I, I'm not judging you. But I'm sure as heck not blind. Frank, know how you feel about all of this? Sure he does. He doesn't expect me to like it, don't you either? I am not asking you to like it. Ray, I that is so about it. Now, we'll work together. We'll get Frank elected to the Senate, but we're not going to be friends. And I think as soon as everybody accepts that, we're going to be a lot better off. Now, I, uh, I left Frank's messages on the desk there. Jill's going to go home and get some sleep, and she wants him to call him. Will you tell him that? Of course. OK, thank you. Good night. Sleeping. Listen, I was checking that chart, and he's showing improvement. Now, he's coming along. Jillian, you have to trust me. Now, he is going to pull through this, but you're not going to be any good to him or to you unless you take care of yourself. Now, come on. I'll take you home. No, no, I know, I know that I should go to sleep, but... <sighs> come on, hmm? He's going to be all right. Tom? Can I get you something? No, thanks, Kevin. I'm on my way home. I just dropped by to meet this remarkable Irish wolfhound I've heard so much about. Oh, <laughs> just missed him. <laughs> John and Siobhan took him in another tour of the neighborhood, that great beast. They just went out. You know, I'm beginning to believe this great beast of yours is a myth. Oh, would that he were. Am I sensing a slightly less than enthusiastic attitude about oh, your gift? Of course not. 
It was very uh, generous of Siobhan, but he's just, well, I like him fine, but uh, just a little uh, too... Um, Big. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you excuse me for a moment. Certainly, mate. Uh, duty calls. Uh, Tom, help yourself to some of Maeve's freshly made donuts oh, there, thank huh? thank you, Ken. Thank you, Jack. Uh, none for me. Uh, how's it going? Never better. Faith feeling okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's just getting a few dizzy spells and some evening sickness. Morning sickness. Oh, no, no. Faith's a little more original than that. When you saw the other night at the party. Yeah, you, uh, you okay about that? I'm fine. Why? Was a uh, tense situation. Yeah, true enough. You know, I was hoping the party would be a surprise for Faith and that it would show her how happy I am about the child. Then she comes with Pat. Yeah. I know, she was sick, he was helping her. I understand that. But you see, Jack, I wanted that party to, I don't know, signify a new beginning for me and Faith. And there she was with Pat. And suddenly all the anger and the jealousy, the things I was trying to get away from came back. But I wouldn't give in to them. I love Faith. I don't want to lose her or the child. It was as if we were given a second chance. You know, it's going to work. It has to. Go easy on yourself. Give it some time. I will. Thanks. No, I better be getting home. I don't want Faith wondering where I am. Will you tell John I'm sorry I missed him and I want to meet this great mythical animal the next time around? <clears throat> Take it easy. <laughs> Goodbye, Ken. So long, Hello, John. John. Well, that lad seems to be in better spirits these days. Maybe. Well, that's what I like about you, Jack. You're always the eternal optimist. <clears throat> Do I know you? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, um, Mary, right? I'm huh? not that late. Two hours and uh, 17 minutes, but who's counting? I got, got tied, tied up, up at the, the office. office. Cute mm. finale, really cute. <laughs> Little trouble in paradise there, I see. Well, you got the trouble right. I thought I heard the two of you out here. Hi, Ma. How's Ryan? Oh, she's just fine. She's upstairs with Mrs. Shaw. Could I see you in the kitchen for a moment, darling? It's important. Sit down, darling. What's the matter? Well, I just thought with your father and sister out of the house, it just might be a good time for us to talk. <sighs> Siobhan. Siobhan. It's not an easy time for you, is it? No. Tell me. I don't know, Ma. I'm glad she's here. And I realize it's hard for her, too, coming home after three years, especially when we didn't part under the best conditions to begin with. I know that took a lot for her, but somehow... What? The minute I'm with her, I forget. And it's as if she never left. And I'm 10 years old again, and she's just given away all my Christmas presents to her Jewish friends so they'd understand Jesus' birthday. You remember that, do you? How could I forget? It's so typical of her. I know she means well, and there's no one else in the world like her, and I do love her. But I just don't know if we're ever going to get along. Why do you suppose that is, dear? I wish I could figure it out. Can you? Well, I think I understand a little, yes. Then please tell me. Please, Ma, it's important to me. Well. I know this, that somehow inside of a Siobhan knows that you're very special to me. Ma. No, it's true, Mary, and you know it. I, it's not a matter of loving one more than the other, or favoritism, or whatever that all is. It's just that, to me, each of my children, I see little pieces of myself in them. Kathleen is the continuation of my mother in me. Patrick can always make me laugh when nothing or no one else can do it. Francis, well, he has my dreams and the courage to find them. But Siobhan, dear Siobhan, she's just a little bit of all of that, but she's never been able to find her niche in the family. And you, Mary, you, more than anyone, 
You're my heart. You always have been. The years haven't changed that, they never will. And I believe that Siobhan has always known that. And now she comes home and she just feels it more than ever. Thank you. I feel bad for Siobhan. But there's something in me that makes me want to cut her out. And I hate that. It just makes me furious with myself. But I'm trying. I, I really am. I know you are, darling. At least you understand those feelings are there. I mean, that's the important thing. But you're now, both of you, grown. Yeah. And now that you can see it, maybe, just maybe, you can be a little more patient with each other. I hope so. Oh. It's not easy for you either, is it? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, that girl, she is so stubborn, independent, and defiant. Oh, sometimes she just drives me crazy. But that is Siobhan. That's who she is. You know who she sounds like? Who? You. Oh, and me. Those are all the things that drive me crazy about myself. And when I see it in her. I know, darling, but those are the reasons that we love her. It's just, it's up to all of us, you know to let that girl know that she has a place in all of our hearts. Yes. I promise that I will not anticipate trouble, and I won't lose my temper, and I will try to forget everything that's gone on before. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Just remember the love and sort of take it from there, huh? Nobody can ask any more than that. I'll try. We all will. <laughs> Felice, di essere qui. Ah. Mi sento come a casa mia. Il piacere è mio, signore. Grazie. Hey. Vi voglio ringraziare per il vostro supporto. You got the endorsement. You bet I did. 500 sons of Italy are ready to back Frank Ryan from here all the way to the United yeah. States Senate. <laughs> you are incredible. I don't believe it. You should. You were the one who set the whole thing up, and that crash course in Italian didn't hurt either. Okay, we did it together. You bet we did. Mm -hmm. Now, what's on the agenda for tonight? Look at me. I'm raring to go. Just... Would you believe you have a whole free evening? Free? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to be able to handle uh, 13 hours, 12 hours of uninterrupted, unscheduled free time? Well, I think we can find something to do. Let me change clothes. Right. Any messages? Uh, they're on the table. Nothing important uh, except one from Jill. Any change on Edmund? Uh, he's better. He's improving slowly, but he's getting there. Thank God for that. I should call her. I uh, think she was at the hospital, but she's probably home by now. Bob said that she wanted to go home to get some sleep. She probably hasn't slept in two days. I don't want to wake her. Yeah. Must be uh, pretty hard handling it all by herself. Yeah. I'll get to her tomorrow. Hey. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Would you, um, like me to leave you alone for a while? No, it's okay. I, I want you here. I'm not being very fair to you, am I? Hey, don't do that. You want me here? I want to be here. That's enough. You are one terrific lady. You know that. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, at this moment, it's just what I want. You can stop walking. We're home now. Yeah. Okay, now look. I want you to drink this, and then you go in there and you get some sleep. Now, you got that? No, I am too tired to sleep. What I want to do is do something to help. Jillian. I know. Relax, relax. 
Okay, we're going to break that tension up. Now, just oh. release. Come on, let go. Hey, you're tight as a drum. Come on. Oh. Easy. That's it. Okay, come on. It's not working, huh? Afraid not. How about some music? Sure. Well, it's not the most soothing music in the world, but... Hey, have you been practicing? Yeah, uh, a little. Show me. Oh, no, not oh, Come on, Jillian, dance with me. I promise I won't even try to lead. No. Okay, no dancing. I got it. How about a fast round of, uh, anything you can do, I can do better? No. Uh, magic tricks? Snappy patter. Seneca, would you just just leave me alone, all right? I'm I'm sorry. Hey. You don't have to explain. Have I told you lately what a good friend you are? Not lately, no. Well, you really are. This Thursday, a long-term relationship needs a short-term miracle. Sounds like a job for the guy who wrote the book on relationships. An all-new Greg Barron's Wake.